So I draw horror comics. Um, there's a lot of horrible stuff I need to draw, from monsters to blood and guts and creepy atmosphere, all that good stuff. Um, <laughs> and horror, from what I've learned, horror is a very fine line. Um, something can either be really creepy or it can come off as funny. So it's really important to walk the line of uncanny. What makes things creepy is showing something that's very familiar and safe and then adding something strange or alien to it or changing the features so that they feel strange and, and off-putting. They're like just off human or whatever animal you're, you know. So you'll want to make sure to distort or skew your creatures or your imagery or your people or your atmosphere. Like just push them off the line of normal. You can do this by like elongating or skewing limbs or proportions. You can add features to creatures that like shouldn't belong there. You need to make things ugly <laughs> in horror. Um, you can create a lot more nightmare fuel by shifting the features around rather than just adding blood and sharp teeth. If you start getting uncomfortable with what you're drawing, you're doing it right. Some really great examples of like some really creepy uncanny monsters are like um, the monsters from early Silent Hill games. Silent Hill 2 has some amazing creature designs. One monster that I love is the Pale Man from Pan's Labyrinth. It's one of those monster des designs that's just, it's like I said, it's like just off human. It's, <laughs> it's just this, he's a humanoid. He's just like this, this pale, tall dude who's super skinny, but there's like, you know, he doesn't have eyes. His nose is, are these two cavernous holes. He doesn't have lips. Like the skin hangs off of him as if he's withered away to just a skeleton. He's completely pale except for like, where you can see through the membranous skin and like ugh, and the, his hands are like elongated into these claws they don't quite move right and he's got eyes in his palms and when he holds them up to his face like the eyes are just too far apart that it looks weird but they're human eyes <laughs> and like the mouth disappears into the neck yeah it's just horrifying <laughs> and it's all comes from the base of just like a tall naked dude <laughs> right so you gotta ride that line of like uncanny um if you push it too far it can get comical just think of any like say horror movie you're watching and the monster shows up and you're and it's just goofy looking because they went cartoony with it it's also important to remember that horror is in the details. It's one thing to see a character get stabbed. It's very different to see the knife twist and push the muscle and skin aside. And you hear the squish of the organs opening. Like, <laughs> see, like, those extra details are gross. They make you wince. They're uncomfortable. That's horror. When I have to say draw a corpse in one of our horror comics, you know, I make sure to draw on the details of like the putrid flesh, the rotting, you know, the sunken eyes, the rotting stuff, you know, the insects that are living in a dead body. <laughs> oh god, I sound so creepy. Um, it's the details that make it grotesque. Because, you know, say cartoon violence, you can look past it. You know, if someone gets cut, in like a Disney movie and there's no blood, you can brush it off. You don't even think about it. In horror, it lingers on there and there's more detail to it. And you have to sit with the horror of what's happening. Now that isn't to say like you want it to be too gratuitous. If there's too much detail, it can get into fetishy territory rather than being scary. You wanna make sure that you show just enough detail to create a vivid image and then hide the rest. The fear of the unknown is very powerful in making it creepy and scary. And it's also important to understand what makes things scary, especially to you. Different people are creeped out by different things, like whether it's facing your own mortality or the fear of bugs touching you. Like, it's super important to know why that scares you or creeps you out so much. You know, for me, like, the fear of the dark or the unknown is super powerful. Um, if you don't know what's waiting out there in the dark, you don't know how to defend yourself or, you know, it could get you at any time because you can't see it. Like, that's horrifying. So I draw on that when I'm working. Because if you know why something bothers you, you know how to depict it. <laughs> that's horror. Um, humans are funny. <laughs> Perceived danger affects us as much as, like, real danger. That's why, like, when you see something scary in a movie, your adrenaline spikes because even though it's not real, your brain's like, nope, this is real, goodbye. <laughs> so yeah, so when you're making your comic, you're simulating the, the scary dangers. 
Yeah. I realize I don't talk about horror much. Uh, for someone who works on horror comics, <laughs> I'd love to do more videos on the subject, but yeah. Because I, I know I do a very weird blend of horror where it's like romance and drama and mystery and horror, where it does, it definitely focuses more on like the drama and romance and relationships. Um, but yeah, I still try to make stuff creepy as heck. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> all right, that's all I have. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions or if you'd like to leave a request for a video topic, please leave a comment down below. I hope I haven't scared you all away with my creepy, creepy corpse talk. <laughs> I swear I'm nice. <laughs> I just like scary stuff. <laughs> okay, thanks again for listening. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!